So the device that I use, this keyboard, this Huyun stylus, it have buttons, and also this Huyun tablet, which is HS sixty four, that I bought. It was very cheap and affordable. Few common keyboard shortcuts I use, which is Control Z for undo, Control Y to redo, and also Control T to transform L for lesser tool. And also H for hint tool and the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. That's basically it. When you open the fire up car, you will see this. There is no canvas or anything. So you have to click on file and click on new. And then you create your preferred canvas you also can pick animation if you want to do animation but you can just pick here standard if you just want to do like normal drawing or you can pick here for comic there's template you can pick and then right here you're just gonna load the normal canvas so you can pick any like size template on here but for me i do this because I post my drawing on Instagram, so I just do one by one size, which is 1080, 1080. Okay, also right here, you have to make sure your DPI is 350, or you can go higher if you want to. But 350 is good enough. And then on background color, you can pick color or transparent. But if you want your drawing, if you want to be able to save your drawing later on as with transparent background you have to put it on transparent okay I'm satisfied with everything you can click ok and there you go you get a transparent background so what you want to do is like create a new layer right here and then pick a bucket tool pick white color and then fill it in and there you go you got a normal canvas but with transparent background really for me i'll keep one layer locked just for me to not mess up with the background so i create a layer this time we don't have to fill it in you just can just you know nor normally draw on it lay out of these drawing software basically it's just similar with other drawing software if you've tried out another drawing software on the pc you're like on your android phones or ios devices it pretty similar basically interface so right here we have the color wheel and then right here we have the brush preview you can always resize the the section right here you know you can always resize it to your liking and you also can resize this one right here okay so here's the color you can pick the color right here as usual you can set two colors let's say you want to pick this one as red and then the another one is like blue so you can like interchange the color easily when you're drawing Right here, there's brush preview. Um, on brush preview, you can like see your brush right here. I have my brush right here. My I've talked about my favorite brush on my first ever video about Fayalpaka. Then that is the pen, the scratchy brush, the pencil sketchbook, the bleeding black ink brush, and the ballpoint pen. Basically, this is like my favorite brush okay, but usually when I draw I'll use the pen brush right here it have like you know the what do you call it I forgot and we have this the pencil sketchbook it's a bit scratchy you can see right here the texture up close if you like scratchy brush like texture brush you can try out the pencil sketchbook Oh, also this one you can get it from i got it from the you know right here store brush store you can pick it here okay there's free one there's like paid one 
and yeah there you go right here you can see brush right this one right here is the eraser this one i don't really use this one the transform move tool let's say you like lasso tool something right here let's say this stroke you lasso tool it and then you want to like move it there you go but there's like actually shortcut for that so yeah and right here fill tool and then right here this one fill tool as well but with your preferred shape and then of course the bucket tool and then right here the gradient tool i don't really use this one actually I'm just gonna ignore that <laughs> and then this one is lasso tool but it's square and then this is a free shape lasso tool and this is the magic one which i don't really use it like magically select the the section that you wanna like you know lasso okay this one we're just gonna ignore because i don't really use it we're just gonna ignore any tools that i don't really use okay this one is a text tool you can pick the font that you like, the sizing of the font, the spacing and everything. And this is the eyedropper. And this is the hole tool. I think we call it a pen tool. You can like go through your canvas without accidentally draw on your canvas, you know. Basically that's it. And then on the layer part, this one right here, I put on the navigator so like i can when i zoom in right here i can like still see the close the overview of my whole drawing you know like this i draw a bear i will still be able how i will still be able to see how it looks like as a whole canvas without zooming out okay so this one we have a layer layer section um you can create layer in here you can like pick at bit layer i don't really i don't really touch this people right here and then you can like add folder you can delete it and then you can merge layer then you can duplicate layers like this then right here you can you have protect alpha the clipping and then lock and show active layer okay and then we have we also have blending mode we have the usual one all the usual one multiply overlay light and darken difference and all this thing you can judge the opacity of your layer right here this one right here we have the reference panel okay you can pick any folder from your device this one okay and then you can like see your reference layer right here you also can like drag it right here so i resize it and you also can use the eyedropper right here so you have the similar color with your reference and you can rotate and everything mirror and everything and you can just delete it put it back to its place right here okay so basically that's the basic one so right here i'm gonna teach you guys how to know the shortcuts and how to set the shortcuts so pick on it's on here file shortcut setting click on it then you know, now you will be able to see all the shortcut the keyboard shortcut that is like by default okay and so if you wanna like create new file you can set our l and we're just gonna focus on the shortcuts that i usually use when i draw ctrl s to save your work 
just in case and then if you want to like start recording and recording you can add your short cards let's say um you want to pick one to like create short card so you click on add it and click on any keyboards any key on your keyboards let's say i want to pick as a wand as the and if it's like duplicate key it will tell you like right here i have like i put one so it tells me one is also keyboard shortcuts for snap so you can just override it if you want to i'm gonna pick like number two to like it will tell you it's duplicate as well let's override it because i don't really use the snap tool okay so now we have one and two to start recording and end recording and then this one is the most important one undo Control z and then redo Control y um copy pass which is Control c and Control v okay and then we go here on the layer duplicate Control j merge down Control e you always you also can like set all this thing i didn't put it use Control d to deselect and then Control t to transform and then I also use um where is it? Don't use this one. Okay, I also use L for Lassa tool. Okay, and G for the bucket tool to fill in the canvas. And what is oh E for the eraser, B for the brush, and I also use I for the eyedropper and h for the hand tool okay you always always can like look back to your short cards from here so if you forgot you just have to open this one and then the function of the keyboard shortcuts that i just set up just now so I'll click on new layer pick our favorite brush you're gonna draw I'm gonna show you the lasso tool. So if you click on L on your keyboard, you can see right here it's already changed into lasso tool. Or you can check on here it's lasso tool. Then you just select the part of the canvas that you want to cut. You can like copy, duplicate this easily by Control C and then Control V, and there you go. You have your duplicate selection in here and then to deselect you can just control D okay to like move your selection you can just control T which is basically transform I use the, sh the shortcut keys on my Huion tablets and my Huion stylus which is for the tablet i use again i set up undo Control z hand tool h the lasso tool and then Control t transform and on my stylus i put um e and b which is the brush and the eraser as easy as that as simple as that so i hope this helped somehow um i'll see you again in the next video i guess so yeah bye bye